Bryce here at OSMVDXReview.com. This is our video review of the Hexback Nunner. This is actually a mini robot. It's actually one of the world's smallest robots, about the size of two quarters combined, so it's very tiny. It's going to run you around $8, depending on where you look. It comes in a very small tubular package, and it comes in multiple colors, and it's claimed to fame it's actually like a bug in motion. And we've tested it, and it actually is. It uses a tiny rotating motor, which you'd expect it to actually not have enough force to actually propel this little thing forward, but it actually moves forward exceptionally fast for its size. And uh, in our testing, the battery has still held the charge with use for a few days, so I guess it does pass our preliminary um, b b uh, fear that the battery's going to run out. So it seems to be good at that, and it actually does move like an actual uh, bug. It looks extremely cool. Our only co our concern, again, is that with the battery, the fact that it's small, it's a little bit hard to lose, and also the fact that it is uh, a little bit pricey at $10 um, and under. Here's our red version. You have this very nice and cool cyborg uh, effect on the device itself, which is semi-transparent, as you can see there. And then uh, it's made out of this soft touch material and rubbers and coated on top of plastic, so it's very cool. On the sides, you have those little legs that imitate a centipillar or something like that. And the device actually vibrates using the motor. So when you vibrate, these legs actually scratch back and forth and they try to, and it tries to run and weigh. So it does make a little bit of sound as well, which is kind of cool. And because it's vibratable, once it hits a wall or something, it actually turns like an eye robot and actually can try to come back. So it's a very cool design, um, exceptionally nicely designed. Uh, very cool, definitely. You can see a little bit, the small motor is on the top there, and you can actually see there's an on-off key on the bottom. And the thing that looks like a wheel, or the largest part of this device, is my thumb to it, is actually the built-in uh, battery that you can remove and change if it runs out. So the battery is the biggest part of this device. So if, if you're considering that, this device is tiny, tiny, tiny. And it's a very basic concept, but it does work exceptionally well. Turning it on, it starts to vibrate, like so, it starts to jingle. Whenever it falls over, it actually really fastly gets back up because of the design of, again, the angles on the top there. So it's also nicely designed for that. So if we put it on the floor there, it's going to try to run away. And when it hits the wall, it's going to try to run again. It works best on hard floor, so it doesn't work as well on carpets, but you get the idea. It runs away quite fast. It's nice to play around with. It's meant at for kids, but it's a cool, you know, tech gizmo that if you have someone um, you want to give them as a small gift or something, it works exceptionally well. It's an expensive, it's fun to play around with in the office, um, at home. Um, it's a nice little, little thing it's called Tech Bag Nano. And we're pretty excited. Uh, if you have more of them, of course, they simulate a larger swarm of bugs. It looks extremely cool. The, pupper is, the paper right now is making it slow down a little bit, but it moves a little bit faster. And you can see how it actually looks like a real bug as it comes back and forth and back and forth. As it hits sensors, it's going to bounce. So very nice, very cool toy. Um, here's a Hexbot Nano. Thanks for watching this video review at osmvtxreviews.com.